In this video we are going to see Trend Network Structure and Trend Infrastructure Part 2. If you are watching our videos first time subscribe to our YouTube channel this will help us to make more videos and don't forget to click the bell icon button you will never miss our latest videos. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. When we looked at some of the controllers used in our data center and mentioned that we have different controllers, using different network types. These are Trend Current Loop, Ethernet and MSTP. These are the physical infrastructure used, but they all use the same protocol to communicate. When we first moved from individual controllers to a network system, this was done by adding what is known as a communication node controller, or CNC to each device. The CNC made it possible to wire from one controller to the next. And it allows the control to hold a unique address. Meaning data can be sent to or from in other devices, such as displays and supervisors, can also sit on the network and have an address assigned to them, either by using their own CNC or by use of a virtual CNC. This is software within a controller that allows the creation of an address that another device can piggyback into to allow access into the trend protocol. At its simplest, a trend network is known as a local area network or LAN and consists of devices grouped together either physically, by being on a single section of a network media. For example, on trend current loop or virtually by being assigned the same LAN number, in the case of Ethernet based units. The land is what trend address structure is built on and is very simple and address between 1, 2, 119 excluding 2, 3 and 10 can be assigned. This gives 116 addresses on the land. Each address assigned to each CNC or VCNC using a commissioning tool for the IQ4 and IQ Eco ranges earlier ranges, have physical switches to set. But these can be used alongside the current controllers as long as each device has a unique address. If you need more than 116 devices or like our building, you need to match different network infrastructure to specific tasks lands together. IQ4 and C's are being used to route information between our three network types joining them together and doing so they form an internetwork because of this. The IQ4NC can be referred to as an internetwork node controller or INC. INC devices have two addresses one, that allows them to communicate with the local land. They're connected to and another to sit on the internet work. The local address is fixed at 126 and this is the reason you can only have one INV on a local LAN. Otherwise, you'll have an address clash, the internet work address complies to the standard trend addressing rules of 1, 2, 119, excluding 2, 3 and 10. In the case of MSTP and trend currently the INCs into network, address becomes Dell on address, for that local network. The Ethernet cable like Q4 and earlier, IC3 have a software or virtual incorporated in each unit when they are grouped by LAN number 1 of the units will activate its V incorporated allowing the group to communicate via the trend protocol over Ethernet cabling. The IQ4NCs we've looked at in our data center all work in the more common Internet work mode allowing them to act as bridges between different network infrastructures. They all have an Internet work extension mode. This mode is used to join Internet works together. For example, if we had a building which had a current loop network on each floor, along with older current loop based INC devices, creating an internetwork. We can add an IQ for NC and in mode, this will be a simple way of allowing remote access via the internet for the site. As with everything else in the IC4 range, the mode is selected by altering the software of the IQ for NC. Across the site, we have an original trend current loop network but also some old advices to then we have iq 4 es using ethernet in the plant room in the office area has iq eco controllers sat on the msdp network when we first started linking controllers together we use the trend current loop system as such you're likely to find older controllers on it here at the trend data center we've been replacing old by q1 and 2 units with the equivalent ic4 unit and can use the same network connections 
The physical infrastructure is fairly simple because this of each controller being connected to its neighbor by a pair of cables, which creates an independent small current loop, which sends data using 20 milliamp pulses, this is why you may hear the network being referred to as a 20 milliamp current loop. A handy thing, you'll see on the current loop devices are three LEDs that indicate the status of the transmitting and receiving segment for the individual unit, along with the health of the entire local area network. Once all the controllers have been connected to a larger loop then data can be passed along the chain until it reaches the correct device. The messages are sent between devices at a fixed speed. This is known as the baud rate and all devices must be set to the same speed. As with most buildings, we have Ethernet cabling throughout the site. This may connecting the Ethernet capable trend controllers are very simple. Almost plug and play, task or IQ4E sit on this Ethernet network, and we also use it to allow the IQ for NC units to communicate with each other. The IQ4s and the IQ Vision Supervisor. The control is still have a standard trend address, which allows them to communicate with other trend devices and create virtual internet works. But they also require an IP address. Both of these are set up using software, but it's always worth checking with your department. Aren't you eco devices in the office area are using MSDP or master slave token passing? This is a back network, which the IQ eco range are able to communicate over, not just with each other but also non trend backnet devices. IQ eco controllers have both a trend address allowing them to use the trend communication protocol, but also an automatically generated backnet address for the back neck communication protocol. Train control is on MSDP, use a two-wire, linear bus method of connection and every device including non-trend units must be set the same communication speed for data to be successfully transferred. Like most buildings our BAM system is not just limited to control of heating and cooling of the site. We have other items for example, lighting systems, which are controlled or monitored by third-party devices, but we can still see what is happening, and make changes because the trend system can be extended and integrated to pass data between other third-party devices and systems, different trend devices from an IQ for it on ton 8 can provide integration or interfacing solution using different communication protocols, for example, Botnet Mob Boss, or Embolus, using IQ Eco controllers. Our site has a direct link to the XOR lighting controls which are part of Honeywell's energy efficiency portfolio. This gives us senses and switches that control the lighting in the building and can be monitored from our central IQ vision. Well we hope this video is useful to you, thank you for watching our video, we will meet in another good video, have a great day.